All right, this is looking more like it, yay. And I have one sale right there that I am so excited to share with you. So let's get into our jewelry. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, and I am a part-time reseller of shoes, belts, and jewelry. Um, that is my niche. And I am also a full-time stay-at-home mom with a little time. So today we have weekend orders going out for the Christmas weekend. And I am so happy that orders are up because two weeks in a row, they were just really low for what, like what my store is used to. And now we're over $600 for the weekend. And I am just so happy and thankful to end this year um, at that range. So I'm looking forward to the new year and I know that when tax season comes around that is when I have the best sales. So let's go grab jewelry first. I sold a lot of jewelry and one sale in particular makes me so happy. It sold within hours so yay! Let's go grab orders. Alright, this is looking more like it, yay! And I have one sale right there that I am so excited to share with you. So let's get into our jewelry. Alright, these sold. These are some Brighton hoops. These sold for $22 on Poshmark. And they have that Brighton look to them that's swirling. But guess what you guys? These have no stamp on them whatsoever. So I Google Lens these and they did come up as Brighton. There's a style name, I think I have them in my title. And these are the exact pair of um, hoop earrings. There's no mark on the regular Brighton earrings. So um, that is just a lesson to learn if you use Google Lens, that will definitely be your friend in some cases. And for the Brighton, definitely was. And I have another Brighton piece that's going out. And I also have an offer out on another pair of Brighton earrings that I might sell soon as well. So yeah, these Brighton pieces are signed, but the hoops are not. All right, this one, you guys, okay. Um... This one is still sealed up. This is a Morse code bracelet, sold for $14.99 on eBay. And I picked this up at the shop, I'm sorry, the um, Amazon return store, which is called Treasure Hunt Deals. And I was there on the $2 day. Uh, this is what it says. I did not realize, so I opened up one of these boxes and I was like, oh, there's jewelry in here. And I think it said like, sterling or morse code or something so i was like oh i'm just gonna grab all these boxes since i resell jewelry and i thought it was neat and i didn't realize what they all said so yeah i probably would not have picked them up because i don't we don't swear in our house so there is those sold for 14.99 so there we go all right next we have this um like vintage swag uh vintage neck yeah, necklace, and you can see it up on the screen a little bit better. This actually sold for $25 on eBay. I did take that best offer. I got it in a Shop Goodwill lot for a dollar, and I just liked how it laid on um, on your body, like in like a swag form. You wouldn't know just by looking at it. It is not marked, but it definitely sold based off of the style. So um, that one was a good sale right there. All right, here's another interesting one here. This one also came in a shop Goodwill lot. And I was like going through all the little bits um, at the bottom and there's all the studs and finding little tiny hoops. And most of the time those are nothing. But these, I was like, oh, these are kind of cute little huggies. So I put them in and then I, I decided to look at them a little bit closer and I think right there you won't be able to see it but right at where my tip of my nail is it curves around and it says Monet so that was kind of
kind of crazy that that small of um, a marking was on these little tiny hoops. These are some matte silver textured little hoops. These sold for $14.99 on eBay, and I got them in a shop good a lot. These sold for $12. These are like a gothic style, in my opinion, red and black. Um, filigree, $12 on Poshmark. I picked those up in a shop Goodwill lot. Now this is a glass inklet, I believe. So it's red heart glass with little crystals, but it was 10 and a half inches. So that is too big for a bracelet, too small for a necklace. So I was like, okay, maybe it's an inklet. So I sold it as an inklet and it sold for $14.99 on eBay. Got that in a shop Goodwill lot. These I just listed maybe two days ago, and they sold right away. These are some Monet, um, like triple hoop, classic 80s style earrings. They are pierced, sold for $14.99. I got those in a shop good a lot. These sold within hours overseas. Yes, you might remember, I wore these in the video, and the only ones I could find online were gold tone and these are like a textured matte silver they are marked napier right there these are really excellent shape these are from the 1960s and i listed them for 99 dollars. someone sent me an offer right away for 75 and i was like sure <laughs> 75 dollars going overseas i'm sure they will love them like i squealed for joy when i put them on i mean they're not my style at all but they're just so fun and unique I picked them up at the antique store. I'm thinking $5. I can't remember um, because I listed them like yesterday <laughs> or two days ago and I couldn't remember what I paid, but I did pick them up at the antique store. All right. This lucky lady is a JJ brooch. Definitely has that JJ look with little dangles. This would be perfect for, you know, going to Las Vegas or what else? Well, it looks like all Las Vegas uh, cards and gambling. So, Las Vegas. This sold for $14.99 on eBay. I picked this out of an antique store, like, bin where you could grab stuff for $0.77 cents each. This one I still have to find. I believe um, I just relisted it, and I think I might have pulled it for a whatnot sale, and, it, and I don't think it sold, so I have to go grab that. Um, but it is an Avon wreath. Bell earrings sold for $10 and it sold on um, eBay. I got that in a shop Goodwill lot. This one kind of looks like Louis Vuitton, kind of with these little inclusions. It is an apple green bangle with these gold love inclusions. I also got that in the antique store um, like bin and I got that for $77. It sold for $13. This one was an accidental purchase. Um, I was going through the antique store necklaces and this one was sold together with a green like adventurine or I guess it was like a genuine stone bracelet and it looked really pretty together. So I thought that this was like attached to it and was like genuine stone and didn't really feel them. And then when I got home and I took the tag off, I realized that they were completely two different necklaces. And so I listed them separately because this one was a lot like cheaper quality than the nicer real stone one. So this one sold for $10 on Poshmark and I'm thinking I paid about a dollar for it, but I've got both of them together. So these I just listed as well. These are some tribal wooden um, earrings. I got these in a jewelry jar that I unjarred on whatnot. These sold for $10 on Poshmark and I paid around 50 cents. Here are the other Brighton earrings. There are some studs with the gold and silver tone. Again, it has the Brighton sc scrolling and there is that B mark on the back. There's a lot of little hearts as well. So that is the B for Brighton. Brighton jewelry gets a lot of attention, so look out for Brighton, sold for $18, and I got it in a shop Goodwill lot for a dollar. 
these sun earrings they are not marked again but when I Google lens these these come up as Avon some people know um, know if they're Avon or not because they might be new old stock and then then they'll list it as Avon even though it's not marked and then people will know like that that don't have the marking or a backing that says Avon um, that they are Avon. So these ones are Avon Sun Earrings. These sold for $18 on Etsy. I paid $3.62 shipping, making my earnings $14.38. And again, paid less than a dollar in a shop good to a lot. And then another Etsy sale. This is an M. Sarah Coventry brooch. This one I picked up in a shop good to a lot for less than a dollar. Sold for $20 on Etsy. I paid $4.12 shipping, making my earnings $15.88. All right, there we go. There is my jewelry. Today it was such, or this weekend was such a good jewelry weekend. Yay. I will put my earnings up on the screen for jewelry and we can go grab some shoes. So first we have these Vans Mystic sneakers. I guess they're called the Mystic sneakers because they have the suns on them. And I'll just grab these. These are... These were on clearance at Ross, so they are new. Oh, I don't want to drop them. Um, they were $15 at Ross, and I don't pick up vans that often, even at the bins sometimes, but um, I picked these up because they were a bigger size, and they did take a little bit to sell, but they did sell for $55. I did take a best offer, and again, I got these at Ross for $15. These shoes, I didn't, there's still a sticker in there, so that's not damaged, that's just a sticker. Um, but these I picked up at the bins for like less than a dollar, and the reason I picked them up is they are a size 12. So, I was mentioning in like every single video to pick up the women's larger sizes um, because they sell. So yeah, Style & Co, that is not a brand to pick up, but this is a pretty cute style and they don't really have super cute shoes a lot of times for bigger sizes. So this sold for $22 on Poshmark. I picked them up for less than a dollar at the Goodwill bins. So yay. And I also sold another pair of size 12 shoes coming up for women's. All right, these Patagonia trail shoes Those are right here in my athletic and sneaker section. These you might remember I just picked up at Salvation Army for $10.99. They are a women's trail shoe. And yes, they have the Vibram sole that you want to look out for. These sold for $32 on Mercari. The buyers are now paying shipping on my newer listings on Mercari. And we're seeing how that goes. But yeah, so $32 for those. Nike Zoom LeBron James. Okay, we are still in the sneakers they are over there so these I actually paid up for again bigger size oh one's falling two are falling well so I paid $19.99 for these um, at the regular Goodwill store I don't pick up sneakers that often but these looked a little bit like more interesting and I decided to run comps on those and these sold for $79.99 on eBay. So that was a good flip, even for $20. All right, some aerosols. What would this video be without some Avon jewelry and aerosol shoes? I think I sell Avon and aerosols in every single video. All right, so I have my strappy heels over here. We are looking for like a blue denim. So here they are. Whoop. All right, if I had both hands, I would not have um, shoes falling everywhere. And I have some things going on over here because I'm gonna set up some Ikea furniture to go right here. So it's kind of a, a work in progress. Anyways, these aerosols sold for $22 on Poshmark. I picked them up at the bins for around $2, and I sold another pair of aerosols 
as well. All right, some Bata cream flats. Let's go over here. Here are my cream shoes right here. And falling. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna have a mess to clean up later. All right, so these feel so nice, really nice quality leather. And I picked these up. Well, actually, I got these in a thread up shoe rescue box, and I put that my cost was six dollars and twenty cents. Now I usually round that up like every thread up rescue box pair. For nine dollars and I've been doing that for a while but apparently my average cost per pair was six dollars and twenty cents so I must have listed a lot of pairs from that box and this sold for thirty one dollars on Poshmark definitely not a bolo brand by any means but they were there they're nice quality so I listed them all right we're gonna get the universal thread and the aerosol brown suede shoes let's see here are these aerosol brown suede shoes if you've watched my recent thread up unboxings um i just picked these up for you know my average cost of goods is around nine dollars and these sold for 39 dollars on poshmark so that is a really good sale and again these say aerosols on the bottom and a really nice thick leather and like a lower heel all all good things all right lastly it looks like you guys can get all these shoes with me today yay okay where did these go my sandals are all falling down all right so these are those size 12 sandals that i picked up at the goodwill bins with you guys during the reseller um Binza Bingo Challenge, and this was my new with tags item. Let's see right under here. I see them. Okay, so here they are, and again, new with tags right there. So I picked these up as the new with tags items from the bins, and the reason I picked them up again, size 12, these sold within a day or two of me listing them and they sold for $15. Let's see. $15 on Poshmark and you know, I paid around a dollar for these at the Goodwill bins. So, there are my shoes to get ready to package up. I will put my earnings up on the screen for you guys. And then we can go get some scarves and belts. Okay, so here are the um belts and things. These suspenders just sold. I listed them a couple days ago and they sold already on Etsy yes these sold for $30 these are marked Cass Germany you want to look on the hardware this hardware right here on the back um, it will say CAS Germany or Pelican or Trafalgar or made in England those are the things you want to look out for plus these are the button um, fastening braces suspenders so these um i think i either got at the bins for less than 50 cents or they still had the tag on them for 2.99 the reason i'm questioning is i don't find suspenders at goodwill so i'm thinking they still have the tag and i picked them up at the bins but anyways these sold for 30 i paid 427 shipping making my earnings 25 love selling suspenders i just listed like three or four more today. So yeah, this is an all alpaca scarf that I picked up at the Goodwill bins for less than 50 cents. Just red classic alpaca. Picked up for 50 cents, sold for $11.50 on eBay. All right, lastly is this Martin Dingman belt. If you watched my um, Ben's Bingo challenge, I was excited finding Martin Dingman. <laughs> that is definitely a Bolo brand for belts. It is this like croc embossed belt. I did take a lower offer or I might have sent out a lower offer because there is scratching on the har hardware. I did have, yeah, this one. Um, this one is the another Martin Dingman belt that was right next to it. it is a gray 
but the buckle is in really great shape. So I think I listed this one closer to like 40, whereas this one sold for $20 on Poshmark. So there are my belts and scarves and I'll put the total up on the screen and I'm gonna go get packing. All right, you guys, that was my sales for the weekend. Um, I will put my total up on the screen for you guys. And I just wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. What are some of your goals that you have for the new year? So my goal for this year was to have 3,000 listings. And now I think, and also listing 10 items a day, which on most days I did that. And so I maybe like 4,000 listings, but um, the nurse flipper who I'm actually going to be on, on her podcast tonight, um, Tuesdays, 7 PM central standard time. She has like other resellers on her podcast. So you guys are going to be seeing this video later on, but, um, she had mentioned how she doesn't go by number of items. She goes by uh, dollar value. And that got me thinking because that that's kind of, that is a little bit challenging for my brain, even though that makes sense. Like I like having the 10 items a day because when I'm having a rough day with the kids, just listing little pieces of jewelry, you know, before I go to bed is easy for me. And if I like gave myself a goal of like $300 a day, that might challenge my brain <laughs> a little bit with what we all have going on. So I think I'm gonna stick maybe like 12, 12 listings a day because I am still homeschooling. I still have littles. Gideon is now walking, so it's a whole thing. Um, all right, so if you like these um, videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys are thrifting so you can live generously. Bye guys.